drug monitoring and safety when using Ocrevus in multiple sclerosis. Aaron Boster here with the Ohio Health MS Center, spending a few moments talking about drug monitoring and safety when using Ocrevus or Ocrelizumab to treat multiple sclerosis. Prior to starting Ocrevus, it's important to screen for hepatitis B. There have been cases with other anti-CD20 medicines causing a reactivation of hepatitis B. Now, whereas this has never been seen in Ocrevus, we want to be proactive, and so we screen patients prior to starting. In the clinical trials for Ocrevus, there was an imbalance in breast cancer cases, with a few cases uh, in the Ocrevus treated arm and no cases in the other treatment arms. Now, as such, you might ask yourself, might this drug be associated with breast cancer? When you look epidemiologically at the number of women in the trial, their age, and the expected rates of breast cancer, the numbers were actually the same. And so we're left not completely sure. It's my opinion that this drug does not cause breast cancer, and yet we don't want to be cavalier. And so we recommend that women taking Ocrevus do self-breast exams once a month and have mammograms when it's appropriate. Other things to be concerned about with Ocrevus include infusion reactions. The first infusion, there's a roughly 30% chance of an infusion reaction. Now, they're almost always mild to moderate, and in the clinical trials, none were fatal, which is very good. And more importantly, the second infusion on, the risk plummets down to 10%. And so infusion reactions are something else that we want to be sensitive to. The risk of infection with uh, ocrelizumab is, in my opinion, quite low. And in the clinical trials, there was a slightly higher risk of upper respiratory tract infections or urinary tract infections as compared to the active comparator, Rebif. These are some of the considerations when using Ocrevus to treat multiple sclerosis. Again, Aaron Boster with Ohio Health MS Center. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel to learn more about multiple sclerosis.